Number 1 Funabashi Anderson Park H. C. Anderson Park is the comprehensive park composed of five zones, including Kids' Kingdom, Fairy Tale Hill, Children's Museum, Nature Experience, and Castle of Flowers. The park that incorporates the natural features of the land and thicket is variegated with all kinds of seasonal flowers. Number 2 Yatsu Rose Garden We had a very pleasant walk from near Tsutanuma Station to the Rose Garden to a great display of acres of blooming roses. Very nice the way it has been set out with the central fountain and ponds running off each way from there. Number 3 Hokikyoji Temple Good for walking meditation and to see the temple complex but unfortunately, it's not possible anymore to do picnic in the cherry blossom season. Also, all Toshiba signs disturbs the view. I don't understand why to put signs to show off Toshiba is paying for some renovation. Number 4 Zozo Marine Stadium Marine Field was great, and if I hadn't gone to the Cebu Dome I would have to say that it sets the standard for Japanese baseball. The seats are affordable, the commute is easy, and the games are fun. Number 5 Laloport Tokyo Bay Huge mall where lots of locals go to. Got a free shuttle bus from a nearby metro station. Got a huge baby supply shop there which my wife loves so much. Tax-free shopping for tourists. Number 6 Yatsu Tidal Flats Had a nice walk to the Yatsu Tidal Flats from where we are staying near Tsutanuma Station. These wetlands are situated at the extreme end of Tokyo Bay and comprise 40 hectares. Sea water comes in and out with the tides of the bay and is home to large numbers of birds as there is plenty of food here for them. Number 7 Nakayama Horse Tracks It is the biggest house racing course in this Chiba area and it is always crowded with usually elder Japanese men who bet their extra allowances into the bacon. It is worth visiting even to simply observe the nice-looking racehorses, and thrilling race, not really betting money on it. Number 8 Funabashi Daijingu The biggest shrine in Funabashi City, it covers a big area and is very impressive, no matter what grand gate entry way you approach it through. It is a huge complex containing the main shrine and smaller ones. All around the place there are gardens and some very old big trees which shade just about everything. Number 9 Coconut, Sudanuma. I get the open water diving license here few days before. Stuffs are so kind and very nice and they teach me how fun the diving is. They also doing a fun diving trip in Kanto area, so if you guys are interested in diving in Japan, please visit here and get some fun and wonderful time. Number 10 Sapporo Beer Chiba Factory I went to Sapporo Beer Factory. You can also tour the factory. I made a reservation in advance and had them pick me up by bus. The beer was very good. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.